my brothers, my fellow men, something I've noticed amongst the majority of men time and time again in terms of taking action, okay? So this is through my own pursuit of trying to achieve more in my life, whether it be physically, mentally, or financially, I've come to a step-by-step -step system. Mental traits that you need to sort of master to really go on to the next step and continue to your path of success. The way I see it is, first you need ambition, then you need aggression to take action and act on your ambition, then you need discipline, patience, and consistency to work day in and day out towards your goals, no matter the ups and downs that are going on with your emotions or your life, okay? And I noticed that majority of men, and all the men I know, whether it be friends, whether it be family, they don't lack ambition. They don't lack ideas. They don't lack creativity. They're very good at having passions or having ideas of wanting to be rich or dreams and wanting to do more. I feel that every single man, regardless of how society has suppressed masculinity and how society has killed testosterone, with men's testosterone dropping 50% from the last 40 years, I still feel that every man has this innate warrior spirit where they have this need to be better in whatever aspect or level of their life they wish, okay? So that's number one. That's not the issue. I don't think the issue with men is their lack of ambition or their lack of wanting more. But what I've noticed is the second step, ambition is number one, the second step is what majority of men lack. And this is something that has been suppressed in the modern society and has been translated in the media as anger or a negative trait or violent and men should not act this way. But it's actually the key for a man to pursue what he really wants and that is aggression, okay? You guys can look at your friendship circles and you can look at your friends and family. Majority of your male friends don't lack ambition. They have ideas, they want to be rich, they have these passions, they wish they were doing this, they wish they were doing that. It's not the lack of dreaming, it's not the lack of creativity, it's a lack of aggression that stops them from ever taking action. So you might be asking me, Jeev, what is this male aggression? The only aggression I know is anger. The only aggression I know is potential violence. That's what I've been told in society. That's how they, that's how they label aggression. That's the only aggression I know. And I'm going to give you my definition of male aggression and how it can be used in a positive fashion. Think about a lion or think about some predator on the hunt, right? That predator is on the hunt for its prey. It's not angry. It's not in some type of negative mind state. It simply has a plan of attack. It has a tunnel vision focus and it needs to eat. So it takes aggression for that predator to go on the hunt and hunt its prey, like a lion on the hunt or a shark going for what it needs to go, right? And the way I can best describe this is male aggression is a combination of confidence, authority for what you want and having a backbone and not listening to the opinions of others, excitement and motivation all bundled up into this innate warrior spirit that you can't suppress that forces you to take action, okay? The issue is, in our modern society, male aggression has been extremely suppressed. What we're noticing is men are far more emotional and hyper-emotional and feminine than they used to be 20 years ago, 50 years ago, even 10 years ago. The generations are becoming more and more hypersensitive and more and more thinking emotionally rather than exerting their masculinity and thinking logically, okay? Now, this is a big issue because we're seeing the scientific negative impacts on our boys and men due to this behavior and due to this consumerism conditioning. What are you guys noticing with boys and men in the modern day? You may notice that suicide rates, depression, and other mental illnesses are spiking through the roof and, and suicide rates in men are going up exponentially. This is because men, like I told you, any man has a natural innate desire to be a better version of himself and live a more fulfilling life. This does not mean you have to chase riches or chase money. It just means that you are on a constant pursuit of bettering yourself and being better in whatever level or aspect of your life, whether it's financial, spiritual, physical, 
or mentally, you are constantly improving yourself. You don't have to be a billionaire. You don't have to be some type of tyrant or conqueror, but you want to be a warrior or a king within your own right, right? It's like an RPG game. You're constantly improving different aspects of your life. When a man is on that path of self-improvement and is constantly improving his various aspects of his life, exerting his masculinity and aggression, he is happier. He is more fulfilled. He has higher confidence. His testosterone goes up. He's taking care of himself better physically. He's taking care of himself better financially in what he eats and consumes, right? Because just like anything, repetition is what's needed to develop a good habit, but it's the same repetition that develops bad habits. And nowadays in the modern society, it is 10 times easier to develop bad habits because bad habits are associated with short-term satisfactions and dopamine rushes to your brain. Whether it be scrolling on social media all day for endless periods of the day, wasting your time there, scrolling on porn and watching porn and jerking off and busting nuts in your sock all day. Depending on the media you're consuming, depending on the food you're consuming, depending on the physical activity you exert, you will put yourself in a very destructive cycle of repetition where on only thing you're doing is wasting yourself away. You may be going through school, you may go get a generic job, but what are you doing with those four to eight hours after your job? You're most likely feeding a destructive habit or destructive lifestyle, whether it be lack of exercise, whether it be poor diet, and whether it be the media you're consuming. One of the biggest neglected factors when I see male self-improvement is that they focus a lot on what's easy to see, such as physical consumption of what you eat. That's very easy to track. And it's also very easy to track um, your physical activity. You, you know if you went to work out and you know um, how much physical activity you're doing in relation to your lifestyle and body. What's a lot harder to, to track and what's a lot harder for the majority to understand is what you mentally and visually consume with your stimuli 24 seven around the clock. And for the majority of those, for the majority of society and the majority of men, they're on social media, getting all these false expectations and lifestyles fed to them. They're on these various apps. They're on Tinder, these dating apps or porn video games. And unless you're monetizing any of these various platforms, all you're doing is training yourself to be a consumer and be a zombie, okay? So going back to all of that, what I want you to do as a man is fuck all the naysayers, fuck what media is telling you, go back into your heart and find that warrior spirit, that super saiyan spirit, that spirit of a king and conqueror, and have that aggression to go after what you want. Now remember, aggression is not violence or anger. Aggression is a backbone and authority for what you want, meaning you're not gonna let people tell you otherwise. You have your goals in mind, you have your dreams in mind. Now it's time to start working for that. You have to have that backbone and authority for what you want. You have to have the confidence and tunnel vision to focus on those goals, regardless of your emotions or feelings. And that aggression, that I'm trying to teach you guys, you don't have to start sprinting. You don't have to start a million dollar business. You just have to take the active steps forward to improve yourself in those various aspects of your life. So for anybody who's been feeling like, I want to do more, but I don't know where to start. Start anywhere. Take that first step. If you're a fat motherfucker right now and you're saying, oh, working out is too hard, all this is too hard, roll over your fat ass right now, go on the floor and, and start with 10 push-ups. That is the aggression to go past your emotions, to go past your doubt, to go past your feelings and insecurities and, and go after what you actually want, which is a better body or feeling better within yourself physically and health and what you're consuming, right? So this goes hand in hand with a lot of the masculinity webinars, but please understand the modern society has suppressed masculinity and suppressed aggression for a reason. The one percenters, the corporations, the government, they don't want strong-willed, free-thinking, logical, independent, courageous men. They don't want that. They don't want men who are not dependent on the government and are independent by themselves. Why would they want that? They want you to be as dumbed down as possible, as fat as possible, as depressed as possible, as sad as possible, but still working and chugging away, feeding the corporations and feeding the 1% through your poor consumption and diet, 
through your poor choices and activity, whether it's whether it's playing needless video games or on porn, like I said, or scrolling social media all day, all you're doing is destroying yourself mentally, physically, and financially, but putting money, data, information, and your time and awareness into the pockets and into the control of the 1% and the ones who run the world. A lot of my fellow men out there, they all have that warrior spirit in them. They all have that fire in them deep within their soul. It might be a candle flame right now, but it's still fucking there as a man, all right? So I just wanna give you that tip that you might have that ambition, but if you do not take action, if you do not develop that aggression as a man to have the authority to go after what you want, to take those steps forward, you will forever deteriorate and you will forever waste away until the day you die and you will go to the grave with regrets, all right? I just wanna make sure all you guys, this isn't like, I'm not trying to show off. I just wanna motivate my fellow brothers in a society that's trying to fucking suppress us. In a society that's trying to make us into simps. In a society that's trying to make us into mindless zombies, scrolling on our phones 24 fucking seven, feeding all these fucking advertisements, marketing companies, social media lies, false expectations. It's toxic, all right? I just wanna give you guys the opportunity and to understand there are people who are on the same level as you in the same mindset who want more. And we have to surround ourselves with people like that. And for any man who's, who has the ambition, now develop your aggression. A great example I can give of aggression is people who have been working out for years and going to the gym. When you're bodybuilding or when you're weightlifting and when you're in the gym, your focus is just on the weights. Your focus is on your exercise. You might have a straight face, you might be hoodied up, but you're like a lion on the hunt. You're like a tiger going after its prey. You're not angry at the world. You're not violent, but you have a certain authority for what you're doing in there, tunnel vision for what you're going after. You're motivated and you know you gotta get that workout done. If you can take that same mentality you have within working out and translate it to other aspects of your life in terms of what you physically consume in your diet as well as what you mentally consume and you start bringing value to yourself, think about how unstoppable of a man you will be. Think about what a fucking Spartan warrior you will be. Think about how no one could ever tell you shit or tell you otherwise about your decisions. You're making your decisions. You're taking that control in your life, right? And this isn't to be like some like some fake motivational shit, like follow me, you know what I mean? I'll help you change your guy's life. No, it's none of that bullshit. It's just, I'm noticing men are getting weaker and weaker, both mentally and physically, and that is sad to see with my fellow brothers. It's sad to see men turning into simps. It's sad to see men wasting away their life, getting fatter, like not taking care of themselves, mentally deteriorating away, not learning anything. Remember, there's two supercomputers at our disposal. One is in my hand right now where I can go find out information about any industry, topic, or, or anything I wish. If I wanna go learn about astrophysics or engineering, I can literally go to Google and start somewhere and start diving into that industry and learning about it. And the other supercomputer is in here. Just like you might have a computer, it matters about what you're saving on that computer or how you're using it, right? It matters how you're conditioning your brain. And the one percenters, the corporations who run the world, they want us dumbed down. They want us weak. They want us scared. They want us mentally ill. They want us on all these pharmaceuticals, eating like shit, going through that circle, feeding the one percent to go through and pay your bills, to pay your taxes. And then you go to have this alcohol or you go to smoke this weed or you go to have this drug. Then you go have these health side effects and you go to big pharma and you go to the doctors. And then it's just a big circle of us deteriorating ourselves like farm animals and feeding the farmers, all right? I just want some of us to wake the fuck up and take advantage of that aggression. Again, male aggression is not anger, it's not vengeful, it's not resentment, it's not violent. Male aggression is what we need to take action on those hopes and dreams that we have. Now, is the path towards success or developing yourself an easy one? No, it's 10 times harder than going towards the bad habits or short-term satisfactions. Going towards the short-term satisfactions is fucking easy. It's, it's fucking easy to go drink something and have some alcohol. It's fucking easy to skip the gym. It's fucking easy to stay on your phone and scroll all day. Everything that is easy and gives you a short-term dopamine hit and is designed to be that way destroys you in the long term, all right? So I just wanted to make sure people are not confused 
with male aggression. Aggression is what the majority of you will need to take action in your life finally. Everything I'm telling you guys here is gonna translate into your trading, 1000%. I just want you guys to fucking take care of yourselves, have that confidence, and know you're not alone, all right? My fellow men, my fellow brothers, my fellow fucking warriors, my fellow fucking Saiyans, I don't care how you wanna view yourself, I don't care what fantasy you have of the king or conqueror you wanna be, keep that shit alive. Don't let, don't let social media put you down, don't let people tell you otherwise. Work on yourself every fucking day.